The upkeep of pathways on the fells is a full-time job for the National Trust and they're always trying to find ways to repair footpaths that have a low impact on the area. This gave the chance for the native breed of fell ponies to revisit the fells and do what they're bred to do. I volunteer and um, I just responded, my friend Karen, who I've come with, Karen saw something on the Fell Pony Society website in February, I think, and said she would like to do it. And she said, did I think her pony was up to it because she'd never done anything like this? I've done a lot of long distance travelling with my ponies. So I said, yeah, of course we are. So it's sort of given us a goal to go towards. Uh, but I am literally just a volunteer. But I've brought all the fleeces with me too because I have herd with sheep and I only have a small flock. Therefore, I don't uh, necessarily, I have visions of spinning them and weaving them and felting them. So I've brought fleeces as well, but otherwise I'm just a volunteer. But as far as I know, the plan for today is we will head off from here with the ponies, leading the ponies. We'll head up the Langdale Valley and we're then going up Stake Pass. And then we're going to branch off at the top of Stake Pass up onto Mark Cragmore. And there is a path there that needs fixing. It's very boggy. And so the idea is to lay the rolled up fleeces in the bottom of it to float the path on top of that. So I'm assuming that stone will then be laid on top of it. Karen and I both work on paths and so we're really interested to see what happens. So that was another reason we were interested to come. But uh, most of all, just because it's what fell ponies were born to do. So it's just a fantastic opportunity to, to sort of give something back to, to the park, to the lakes as well. You know, I think we really believe, most of us believe, that if you want to go and use bridleways, if you want to use the fells, then you should be prepared to do something to help too. And the Fell Pony Society was certainly of that mind, so that's why we're here. But I'm sure they'll do absolutely fantastically. I've never known a Fell Pony that hasn't just risen to the occasion, so I'm sure they'll do great. Not only was it a challenge to get all the ponies organised, this trial was new to the National Trust. So the, the project is um, a particularly boggy section of path, and we'll be using the sheep fleece to... Uh, create a floating path on top of it. So because it's so boggy, if we use traditional sort of stone pitching, which is what we typically use, it'll just sink. Um, so the idea is you bundle up the sheep fleeces, dig a tray, put them in, and then gravel on top of it. And because the sheep fleece won't sink, it sort of suspends the path and it'll, uh, it'll last a lot longer. Uh, you could use other materials. I mean, you could use bundles of rushes or bales of hay and stuff, but we just happen to have a, a lot of sheep and it's all locally sourced. So it's all come from, so a lot, the majority of it's come from down the valley. The rest come from Thirlmere and some of this has come from, uh, these guys have brought it with them today. Um, it's just a really easy material to get our hands on and it's, you know, it's a biodegradable natural product. Some of it's been grown on the fell that it's going back onto, so that's quite nice. Um, the majority of the sheep fleece has been moved up there with helicopters already, but helicopters are a really expensive means of transport and stuff. Like it's quite expensive just to get them here, and then it costs about a thousand pounds an hour just to fly. Um, so today is a bit of a test, really. We're trying to see if this is a bit of a more viable option. Um, obviously, this is what the ponies were bred for. You know, the, this is the type of environment they're kind of designed to work in. Um, so if we can, if these guys are keen to carry on doing it in the future, then there's scope for us to, to work with them a lot more. The pony surprised everyone and raced up the fells faster than expected with their full loads. Sam Smedley, That's TV.